We came to the world with nothing in our hands and ultimately we're gonna leave the world with nothing in our hands. Do you wanna know why I'm so frugal? The real reasons? On this video, I'm gonna give you four real reasons why I'm so frugal. And if you can relate to any of the things that I talk about on this video, do me a favor and drop me a comment below. And let me know your take on it and let me know if you're frugal too. So let's jump right into it, guys. The very first reason that I'm frugal is that for me, Money is just a tool. Money is just one tool of wealth. I mean, there's a whole lot of other tools in the toolbox to wealth, but money is just one of them. There's friendships and relationships. There's gratefulness and good attitude. There's good health, right? There's a lot of different things that constitute and make wealth, not just money. Money can be good, money can be bad. Money is amoral. If you have good people using money, they can use it for good. If you have bad people using money, they can use it for bad. So see, money is just one tool out of many tools that I have at my disposal to get wealth. And as a tool, having money can make some things a whole lot easier in life, right? Money is just like a hammer in a toolbox. A hammer can make some jobs very, very easy, but a hammer can't do what a screwdriver can do. Right? It can't do it as effectively as a screwdriver. And a hammer can't do what a measuring tape can do. It can't do it as effectively as a measuring tape can do it. In other words, if you have a hammer in a toolbox, don't believe that the hammer is your most important tool, because it's really not. It's just one tool. Oftentimes, we get to believing and thinking that money is the absolute most important tool at our disposal or in our toolbox. It's not. It's only one of the many tools you have available. And I'm frugal because I choose to use the tool of money sparingly so that I don't fool myself into thinking that money is the end all and the be all. And I put it on some pedestal because it's the greatest thing, the greatest tool. It's not. Time is a great tool to have. Good health is a wonderful tool to have. Connections and a network of people is a wonderful tool to have at your disposal, right? Just keep that in mind, guys. There's lots of different types of tools besides money. And for me, that helps me be frugal with money. And that leads to number two. The second reason that I'm so frugal with money is that I understand that stuff does not equal wealth. I don't need stuff to be happy, to have joy, to enjoy life, or to be wealthy. Consumption really doesn't bring me any joy. I learned a long time ago, guys, that I have to be the author of my own joy. I can't rely on outside stuff, and money is outside stuff. So I have to rely on other things to bring me joy other than money. Money and spending money and having a bunch of stuff that I bought with money, that doesn't equal happiness for me. I can't control all the things on the outside. All I can control, guys, is my attitude, my thoughts, and my actions. So whether I have a 2005 Toyota Corolla or I have a 2025 Mercedes Benz, right? It doesn't really matter and it's not gonna move the needle for me to make me happy, have joy, or make me feel good. I don't use or look at stuff to make me feel good, right? What brings me a satisfactory level of enjoyment is really producing things, creating things, building things, and along with helping other people. And if I can focus on doing those things well, that's gonna bring me joy, not stuff, not the latest gadgets. None of that. I just don't need a lot of stuff. Hey guys, if you're getting value out of this video, do me a favor and share this video with your friends, your family, and your network of good people. Also, don't forget to smash the like button below for me. And please consider subscribing to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. Now, let's get back to the video. Now, the third reason that I'm so frugal is that I realize that I'm just a manager while I'm on this earth. I'm just a manager of the things that come through me. Because I was born with nothing, nothing in my hand physically, and I'm gonna pass away at some point one day with nothing in my hand to take with me. So my biggest job is to manage everything that I come in contact with well. Manage it well so that while I'm here on earth, I have access to it. And so I'd rather be resourceful than wasteful. And again, I wanna use money 
sparingly. I want to use things sparingly. I don't want to be tethered and tied to stuff. I just want to manage it well while I have access to it and use of it. So as a good steward over my finances and the things that I have, I prefer to work on the managing piece as opposed to the accumulation of stuff. See, the goal for me is not to just have a bunch of stuff, but the real goal for me is to manage the things that I have really, really well. And when you manage what you have well, you typically have more of it, whether it's money, whether it's stuff, whether it's clothes, shoes, if you manage it well, you don't lose it. And so you have more of it. I mean, think about it, guys, from age zero to age 25, what phase of life are you in? Typically, you're in the phase of life from zero to age 25, where you really don't have much. Everything that you have was given to you by your parent or parents, or it was provided for you, right? You really don't have a whole lot of stuff from age zero to age 25. And then from about age 30 till about age 55 or 60, you're in that accumulation stage, right? You're buying the house, you're buying the cars, you are you have money to buy the clothes and things like that. You're accumulating stuff. And then what happens at age 60? Most of us, we get in that stage of life after age 60 where we're really trying to unload stuff. We're really trying to return back to the state that we were in from zero to 25, where we don't wanna go into retirement with a whole bunch of stuff, right? Where, how many times have you heard an older person say, I need to downsize, right? Because they bought the big four bedroom house when they had children and now everybody's gone. Now you don't need all this space. You don't need all this room. So what are we doing? We're downsizing when we get 60 years or older back to the state we were in between age zero and age 25, right? We're unloading stuff so that we can enter our years, our twilight years of age without so much stuff. We're trying to figure out who are we gonna pass stuff on to? Who are we gonna leave our stuff to? Who are we gonna give our stuff to? Or let someone else take and have it, why? Because intuitively, we know we came to the world with nothing in our hands and ultimately we're gonna leave the world with nothing in our hands. And so in our mind, we're saying, yeah, we wanna downsize, but what we're really doing is we're preparing to get rid of the stuff. So in my opinion, guys, I just manage the money well and manage the things well, and I don't need a whole bunch of stuff if I'm a good manager of the stuff, because I know in 10, 15, 20 years, when I get to that age, I'm gonna be trying to unload stuff. Now, that takes me to number four. The fourth reason I'm so frugal is that I really don't care very much about what other people have to say. I'm not worried about keeping up with the Joneses. See, because I'd rather look average on the outside and have a measure of wealth on the inside and behind closed doors than look wealthy on the outside with a whole bunch of expensive stuff around me. My goal is, hey, when I walk out the house, I don't need anybody knowing what I have. I don't need anybody seeing. I don't have to wear my expensive stuff on the outside for everybody to see. I just don't have that desire. And anybody that's frugal will tell you the same thing, guys. They just don't really care about keeping up with other people. And a lot of people do in America. You'd be surprised at how many people really try to look the part as opposed to be the part. For me, I don't care about impressing other people. Look, when I was younger, sure, I cared about what kind of car I drove and what kind of clothes I wore. Right? Those things were sort of an issue for me, but I've spent a large part of my life divorcing myself from the need to please other people or the need to be like everybody else or the need or desire to want to have all the stuff on the outside that everybody else has. But nowadays, guys, I see and I talk to so many people who look like they have a lot on the outside. But when you peel back the layers and you look at their personal financial situation, they really don't have much. It's all a facade. It's all a look. It's all based on the stuff that they have that shows people that they're doing okay in terms of finances, doing pretty good. But in reality, they're struggling. In reality, they don't have what they look like they have. And I personally think it's unfortunate that a lot of people feel like they have to keep up with the Joneses. For me, I'm frugal because I don't care anything about the Joneses. The Joneses are up to their eyeballs in debt. 
and they're having a hard time living paycheck to paycheck, even though they may make over $100,000, $200,000, $300,000 a year, they're still struggling. And I get it. Some of us who grew up poor, we tend to sort of overcompensate when we actually make money, right? We start making more money than we've ever made before, and we want to go out and buy that brand new car or buy that brand new whatever, spend a lot of money doing this. But guess what, guys? You really don't have to let money burn a hole in your pocket. So there you have it, guys. Those are the four reasons that I'm frugal. I hope I gave you something to think about on this video, guys. Maybe some encouragement, some inspiration, or something just to maybe jog the way you think about money. Change the way you look at money. Maybe you're frugal too. Let me know in the comments below if you could identify with any of the four reasons why I'm frugal. And hey, if you're frugal too, drop that comment and let me know. Hey, if you're over 30 or 40 years old and you're really strongly considering getting out of debt, you really want to get out of debt, I've got four reasons why everybody who's over 30 or 40 years old needs to get out of debt as soon as possible. Do me a favor and check out that video right here next. Peace.